Hey Pisces, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your small story reading. So, very interesting. One of my favorite books um, wants to leap off the shelf for your small story today, and it's Arthur C. Clarke's Rendezvous with Rama. It's, it's really more of a short story. Um, So to give you some context, if you haven't read Rama, read Rama, first of all. I'll show you this image because it's just so fun. Amazing. Okay. Um, so in this passage of Rama, essentially there is a team of people who are in outer space making contact with extraterrestrial life and they are watching things happen on this other world. Okay, we'll put it like that. They're watching the creatures. And I'll, I'll begin. They had just been watching with a distinctly queasy feeling the giant starfish being de demolished by its predators when they discovered that they were no longer alone. There was an intruder in the camp Lar Ernst noticed it first. She froze and then said, don't move, Bill. Now look slowly to the right. Norton turned his head. 10 meters away was a slender legged tripod surmounted by a spherical body no larger than a soccer ball. Set around the body were three large expressionless eyes, apparently giving 360 degrees of vision and trailing beneath it were three whip-like tendrils. The creature was not quite as tall as a man and looked far too fragile to be dangerous, but that did not excuse their carelessness in letting it sneak up on them unawares. It reminded Norton of nothing so much as a three-legged spider or daddy long legs, and he wondered how it had solved the problem. Never attempted by any creature on earth of tripedal locomotion. And essentially they go on to watch this thing. It moves very fast and it begins to very curiously explore all of the items in their camp, cameras, communication gear, food containers, and it's, it's just, there seems to be this um, extremely methodical curiosity or inquisitiveness is what it's, um, I'll read you this little passage. Clearly, it was intelligent enough to draw a distinction between humans and their inanimate property. Its actions gave the unmistakable impression of an extremely methodical curiosity or inquisitiveness. So I was like, what on earth? And this, this chapter is entitled Spider, which I love. Um, so in thinking about how this might relate to your situation, I keep feeling that the important part of this passage for you, Pisces, is something about that inquisitiveness and that curiosity sneaking up on you. This spider creature, this supposedly like impossible tri-legged thing, catches them unawares and they are fascinated by its curiosity and methodical approach despite its fragility. And there's something about that that feels like you, Pisces. It feels like this, like, in some senses, a bit of a delicate creature, you know? Like this, there's this um, very watery quality to you. I don't know, I'm trying to explain it. But there's you may be finding yourself in this moment of your life struck by a sudden curiosity or maybe it's someone in your midst that is coming in with this like methodical sort of curiosity sorting through things um but it feels more you know how it's coming through for me interpret it however it might apply to you um there's something coming through about your curiosity in this moment and you're just like really, you know, sifting through things and rifling through with this just very methodical inquisitiveness. 
Very interesting, Pisces. Perhaps something new has entered your sphere and you're like, ooh, what is this? What do I do with this? Okay, so we're going to jump over to the next world tarot and see what in the heck is this spirit of inquisitiveness, this spider energy. What is this about for Pisces? Cards are pre-shuffled. I'm just picking at random here. Okay. That card wants to come too. Okay. Let's see what we got. Wheel of Fortune, right out the gate. Your card, Pisces. Hanged one or suspension. King of Cups, lots of water. Page of Wands, interesting. There's a lot of people here. There's a, there's this, there's a lot of people. Sorry, I'm just, okay. <laughs> Let me show you what I got. Okay, suspension, wheel of fortune, page of wands, king of cups. And I'm looking at this and, and the energy of it feels like these three are some sort of team. You know, maybe even like the team in Rama, the, ex the team of explorers and scientists that are all gathering together. There's some energy about a team starting to form people and they all feel very different. They feel like they're coming in from like different walks of life or maybe it's just two of you because this is the Wheel of Fortune sort of bringing this together but this feels like a person energetically in this story that there's, there is a person that seems to be bringing people together. Pisces, the King of Cups feels like you. You're the King of Cups in this equation. But perhaps this hasn't quite come together yet because we have suspension. This is your energy. There, there's something where this is, this feels so much like the Wheel of Fortune because the energy here wants to turn you know it's like this person is in anti-gravity in mid-air doing flips but right now they're just suspended still in this moment of stillness before a lot of change comes in with the wheel of fortune you know the wheel of fortune turns and brings a lot of change pisces and so there's something here about elements coming together almost i just keep wanting to say in a team the throne of movement the home of fire you know the page of wands does have that kind of inquisit inquisitiveness and like follows their passion to explore things and generate things and create things Okay, King of Cups, the throne of movement. It's like this is, and this is coming through as your energy, Pisces, and I'm feeling like this desire of your heart to come together with a team. And, and I want to stress that it has not yet happened, but it, it kind of feels like, you know, with this wheel of either you want to come together with another person or you want like a team of people that you're working with or creating something with. And it seems to me like all of the elements are starting to come together now. They're starting to circle around. It's all starting to, to sort of come together. It's interesting in the Rama passage about like all of the inanimate objects, you know? And then here's all of these inanimate objects, wheels, but many other things as well. There's a hammer, there's a book, there's a wrench, there's a 
little bell, you know, the crab claw. There's just a bunch of random stuff all sort of swirling together in this energetic circle. There's something very closed unit about this. Oh, and I just realized, of course, the creature in Rama is tri-legged. And I keep feeling very strongly that this is three people or three elements. There's something here about like the number three being being incredibly strong. You know, if you think of a triangle, a triangle is very flexible and because of its flexibility, an equilateral triangle is a very strong shape to build a foundation on. For example, a bridge, okay? Um, but there's something here about Norton saying in Rama, remarking about no other creature, at least on Earth, has been able to have tripedal locomotion, has been able to move as a unit of three. Which is interesting because we have suspension, which is not moving. But I don't know, there's something about el three elements coming together now. And this, this is like changing everything for you. And, and you seem to be coming together in a spirit, spirit of exploration, of curiosity, of some sort of subject. But again, it, it's not, it hasn't quite got moving. You know, it hasn't gotten going yet, whatever this is. It hasn't quite got off the, <laughs> it's off the ground. <laughs> but it's not, it hasn't hit the ground running. Delicate. That creature was delicate. There's something delicate about this right now. Perhaps to you, it feels a bit delicate, this coming together. Interesting. You feel a bit delicate to me, Pisces. This, whoever I'm, you know, whatever folks I'm picking up on, if this is resonating with you, it's not going to resonate with everyone. So, you know, so don't force it. But there's something here about, you feel very delicate to me. There's something about this King of Cups energy where this person like holding out this sweet lotus flower and their wind, their hair blowing in the wind. There's something just like really sensitive and sweet and, and gentle and um, maybe even a bit precarious or fragile or delicate about this. You know, it's like making if everyone's coming together around you, maybe it, the onus is on you here to make this offer, you know, because that's what it feels like with this King of Cups. It's like, hey, do you want to come have coffee with me? Right? Hey, do, do you want to have some tea <laughs> and talk about this project I'm really excited about? Or maybe it's a date, you know, asking someone on a date. Whatever this is, that's, that's the energy that it has. And even like when you're trying to collaborate with other people, extending that offer of collaboration can totally feel like asking somebody out on a date. It's very intimate. It's like, hey, I have this really exciting idea. I'm not sure if it'll resonate with you, but I'm really hoping it does. I'm hoping we can be creative partners in some way. That's what this feels like. And right now, Pisces, I, it feels like you're quite who nervous, you know, it's like, oh gosh, little heart palpitations about this, <laughs> which is why you're, you are in suspension. You have not perhaps yet acted on this. Okay. I think I'm getting it now, but it's like, these are, this is who you want to invite into your project, into your coven, into your intimate space, whatever this is for you especially this page of wands. If you have someone in your life that is embodying fire energy for you, embodying creative energy, um, it feels like, you know, this is the person perhaps that you're most nervous about inviting on board. Maybe this is just a one-on-one -on -one thing and this is sort of the, the forces unseen, the wheel of fortune turning and bringing these, bringing all of the elements together to make this happen for you. Very well could be. 
but I will say this is more fire energy, you know, Jupiter, Jupiter, Sagittarius energy. And we have fire. It's like fire is flanking you King of Cups on either side. <laughs> You're trying to create a movement, the throne of movement. Okay. You are trying to and you're sitting on the throne, you're the king. So you are trying to make something happen here. Those of you that have stuck with me this long, thank you, because I think I'm starting to get it. You are trying to make something happen here and you're trying to bring these forces together. It's like something global, I'm being drawn to the, see? It's like your, your, your sights for this are very large, almost like, you know, I'm just imagining Rama going to this other planet or, or going out into space to explore. It's like, it's something like that, where it's something that feels really, really big. And you're like, hey, who wants to join me? Do you want to join me on this? You know, you'd have to pack your bags maybe. <laughs> but do you want to come? Interesting too that I said the three being a strong form for bridges and we have a bridge right there. I didn't even notice that. The Page of Wands, bridging the gap with the Page of Wands. That's what this is coming, coming through as. Interesting. This is a this is a fearsome kind of hot creature. I'm like, oh my, who's this Page of Wands? Okay. Um, so Pisces, I'm going to continue this in an extended reading. If this is starting to resonate with you here that you are on the verge of, of starting something new or exploring something and you need your team member or you need your team members and you're, you're wanting to extend this offer to come to coffee and, and hear your proposal and you can feel that the winds of change are starting to move on that front with you bringing this person into your life or, or bringing this team together in the name of this higher thing that you want to do. Okay. If all that is resonating with you, Pisces, um, stick around. I'm going to have a little clip of the extended so that you can get an idea of where this ends up going. And if it's continuing to resonate with you, um, click the link below, it takes you over to Vimeo and you can purchase that for immediate download, um, that extended reading. Okay. So Pisces, thanks for watching this small story. I'm very intrigued and excited to see where this goes. Get some clarifiers on this and then pull, continue pulling cards in the extended. All right. Thanks for watching, Pisces. I'll talk to you soon. Empowered and supported. That's what the platform feels like. It feels like support in a way that I don't think you've, you've felt yet in your, in, in this endeavor that you are trying to get off the ground. Okay. One more energy here wants to come through. Yeah. The eight of pentacles. Exactly. Literally it says creation. Trying to create something together here. Okay. Sun and Virgo. Absolutely. There you are with your page of wands here working together you know, look at all that you've made. Look at all this stuff back there that you all have made together. It's like we're publishing something and it's ready to ship out. You know, that's kind of what it feels like. It's like, we did it and now we're gonna send it to all our people. You know, we did our Kickstarter and now we're, we're sending it out. We've, this is a sense of accomplishment. This is a sense 